Good morning, Tunisians. You're watching another riveting TTT, TTV, and the AWAC. This TTV will educate, educate captivate, and, and keep you up to date with the hottest Trinity School news. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is Trinity TV. I'm Cristiano and I'm Brooks. We're gonna kick off this broadcast by dropping some delicious knowledge for you to put in your brains. Are you ready? Open up your eye lobes and your ear balls and get ready to build your vocabulary. It's time for Word of the Week. Word of the Week. Hey guys, I'm Cristiano and I'm Brooks and this is Word of the Week. The word of the week is cringe. That means to shrink, bend, or crouch, especially in fear or civility. Put that in your vocabulary. And then use it in a sentence. Like this one. I cringe at just the thought of the fifth graders dabbing. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time on Word of the Week. Just imagine all the opportunities to work that fancy word into conversation. Our next segment brings you tips about treating our planet better. It's, it's Enviro Tips. Enviro Tips. Hey guys, I'm Dorian. I'm Ellen. And I'm Mark. And this is Enviro Tips. Did you know that the average American shower uses 17.2 gallons? Can you believe that? We need and I don't want smelling Trinity students or our teachers. But we can still save water by still getting clean. One way to save water is to put a bucket in the shower while you're waiting for the shower to warm up. And use the water that you catch to water plants, clean the toilet, or do any other cleaning. Another way is to install a low flow shower head. And what we can do to save water here at Trinity is to monitor how much water we use for water and more. Cutting down shower time, save a surprising amount of water. Reducing your shower waste by four minutes per day would, would save 3,650 gallons per year. Save, saving water, saving earth. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time on Enviro Tips. Enviro Tips. Next up, what is that? Time for another What is that? I'm Brooks. And I'm Cole. And this is a segment where we show you some up close yeah. pictures. You guess what each one is. Then we'll tell you the answers. Okay, picture number one. Go! Oh my goodness, that was mighty challenging. Let's see what it was. On to the next one. Oh me, oh my, what was that? Next photo. What? Oh, the 
Thanks for watching. What is that? Whoa, that was difficult. In our next video, we feature some Trinity students reminding us about how important it is to help take care of our planet by reducing, reusing, and recycling. At Trinity School, we value the planet and want to do as much as we can to help protect it from global warming and pollution. you're doing uh throwing away some trash are you insane what you threw in there was not trash it was a plastic water bottle plastic water bottles are recyclable so it goes in the recycling bin boom recycling what's that recycling is when things we use like plastic or paper is converted into new products so it can be used again you've probably seen the recycling symbol at school and even at home. The recycling symbol has three arrows. Each one represents a different stage in the recycling process. Number one, collecting recyclable materials. Number two, turning the old recyclable things into new things. Number three, buying items made from recycled materials. Later that day, Just reading the paper. Nope, that newspaper needs to be recycled. Put it in the recycling bin, please. Why should I? Does it really matter? Of course it matters. Reducing waste, reusing products, and recycling is one of the best ways that we can take care of our planet. Just imagine there are approximately 7 billion people on the planet. An average person throws away 4 pounds of trash every day. That's way too much. Multiply that by 7 billion people. That's a lot of trash. And guess what? 75% of our trash can be recycled. I guess that newspaper should be recycled. Yes, recycle it. Recycling ensures that we don't w throw away perfectly reusable materials to go into landfill and ruining our earth. Later that day. Uh, all this garbage. I don't need any of this. Uh. Oh no, time to save some trees. Freeze! That paper needs to be recycled. I've heard about recycling at Trinity, but what can be recycled? We can recycle cardboard, paper, food boxes, drink cans, plus plastic bottles, glass bottles, and caps. At Trinity, we recycle in our classrooms, lunchroom, activity rooms, and even in the halls. That's right. Check out the awesome new recycling stations at Trinity. We have six. You'll find them in the UED Hub, EED Hub, faculty lounge, between the art and music rooms, in the learning commons near the copy room, near the media center desk, and inside the community room. And great news, we have new recycling bins in every classroom at Trinity. Our classroom bins are emptied daily by our amazing custodial staff. That sounds great. I'm definitely going to start recycling now. Awesome. Thank you for helping our Trinity community recycle and save our planet. Here are a few more fun facts. Did you know that the average family uses six trees worth of paper each year? Recycling one ton of paper can save 17 trees, 7,000 gallons of water, two barrels of oil, and 4,000 kilowatts of electricity. The energy you save can power one home for five months. And if we gather all the plastic bottles thrown away by Americans, it can encircle the world four times. Time to recycle, America! Recycling is awesome, but it only works if everyone helps out. Everybody help out! It's cool to recycle! Recycle! That was entertaining and informative. We hope you learned something. Remember, a little here and a little there adds up to a lot. Now Ms. Bristow is going to take over with some mindful moments. Hey Trinity, good morning. Welcome to another Trinity TV and the AWAC. 
We're gonna show you guys a little mindful moment trick here, and I've got some friends here with me to help teach ya. Hey guys, I'm Finn, and um, Miss Bristow is gonna teach us a mindful moment. And this technique helps you like, if you're feeling stressed like in a math test, you can just like do this. It calms you down, it takes your stress out, and inhales your good stuff in. And that's what you wanna, that's what you wanna feel like. Hey, I'm Eloise, and I just think Focus 5 makes you really just calm and focus on what you're doing and mindful. So let's teach them Focus 5, does that sound good? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get our hands ready. And if you're comfortable with it, we'll close our eyes. And with every inhale, you're gonna touch one of your fingers to your thumb and you're gonna hold on to it for an inhale and an exhale. Then you're gonna move on to your next finger and you're gonna do the same thing. And your next finger and your next finger. So all together, you're gonna to be taking five really deep cleansing breaths, inhale, and exhale. And when you're done with all five fingers, if you decide you want a little bit more, you can kind of go back the other direction. Mm -hmm. So you guys get your hands ready, follow along, and here we go. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. How'd that feel? That was good. Yeah. How'd it feel, everybody? Calming. It's good. Pretty calm. So Finn, tell them what's really important. What is really important to remember when you're breathing in and you're breathing out? So it makes it better. You just it makes you tired when you breathe in through your mouth. Just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. That makes you feel like a lot more calm and better and stuff. Energized. Yeah, energized. Good. All right, Trinity, don't forget to do this next time you're feeling like you need to refocus, calm down, or hit the reset button. Y'all have a great day. Yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye. Always do so calm and relaxed after that segment. And yeah, now for something, something completely random. For something completely random. You're welcome. All right, Trinitians, it's time to get up and get all fitnessy and stuff. You know what that means. Fitness, fitness for fun. fun. Everybody up, it's workout time. Hey guys, and welcome to Fitness for Fun. I'm Cole. And I'm Brooks. Joining us for today's workout is Cristiano. We're gonna start out today's workout with jump shots. They go like this. We're gonna do five of those. Ready? Go! One, two, two three, four, five. Yeah. yeah! Our second exercise is 10 Cupid squats. They go like this. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yeah. We did it! For the final exercise of the day, we are going to do Cupid lunges. They go like this. We're going to do 10 of those. Ready? Go! One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Good job, Woo. Trinity. Good job, Trinity. Woo. Thanks for joining us today on Fitness for Fun. I'm Cole. And I'm Brooks. Have a great day, Trinity. Bye. feeling fit, focused, and super awesome. Welcome back to People Dancing for No Particular Reason. Woo! In this episode, we have a special guest, the one and only Edu! What do you want to do today, Edu? Do you want to have people dancing at recess, in the classrooms, or in the gym? Hmm, I would like recess. Nice decision, Edu. Celebrating our cultures. I'm wearing a Vanderbilt jersey because um, some of my family went there and we just like Vanderbilt and we watched some of their games. So I'm Indian. I 
uh, celebrate Diwali, which is Indian New Year, and I, uh, <laughs> we eat Indian food like copper and naan and uh, butter chicken. So Colombia is like super colorful and it's like a lot of dancing and singing and everyone's like super happy and super nice to each other. So we went to the AWAT to celebrate culture day and we got to see people from different cultures and um, we sing songs from different cultures. Culture day is when everyone gets to celebrate their culture and who they really are. That was last year. Celebration of Cultures is March 3rd. At Trinity, we celebrate all different types of cultures. Celebration of Cultures Day gives us all a chance to share our unique traditions and cultures from all over the world. This year's theme, inspired by us, is, is unity in, in our community. Don't forget! Celebration of Cultures. Friday, March 3rd. It's a, a non-uniform day. day. Wear clothing that represents your culture. We, we can't wait, wait to, to see, see what clothes represent who you are. You can wear traditional clothing such as jewelry, hats, and scarves, etc, etc, etc. The choice is yours, but please be sure to represent your unique heritage. Celebration of Culture 2017. Unity in our community! Oh, and did we mention it's Friday, March 3rd? See? Up is a segment featuring Trinity students sharing about great books they've read. It's time for Book Babble! Hey guys, this is Edu on Book Babble. Today I'm going to talk to you about the book I just read, Echo. So in this book, there are like four sections, and it's about like a different family in each section. In the first section, there's this kid who has a facial difference. So he has a harmonica, and he works in a harmonica factory, and he puts the harmonica in the shipping box. And then in the next section, the same harmonica gets shipped to a store, and another kid buys it. In the next section, there's an Another kid who lives on a farm and doesn't like moving a lot and she gets the harmonica and gives it to an army soldier. In the final section, all the kids are teenagers and they're in the New York Orchestra performing. I'm not going to tell you anymore, you have to read it yourself. Once again, I'm Edu and this is Book Babble. Welcome to Book Babble. I'm Madeline. And I'm Mary Everett. Today we're going to talk to you about Mercy Watson Thinks Like a Pig. Mercy Watson is a very mischievous pig and sometimes she gets in trouble. In this story today, Mercy Watson eats someone's flowers. My favorite part of the book is when Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Mercy are on the porch drinking lemonade, and something happens. Dun, dun, dun! I recommend this book to anybody through first to third grade. They would love this book. Once again, this is Book Babble. I'm Madeline. And I'm Mary Everett. Don't, Don't forget, forget to read this book. Thanks so much. Sounds like a couple of excellent books. My, well, my fellow Trinitians, we're sad to say that this Trinity, Trinity TV, TV has run its course and is almost over. 
We hope you've enjoyed yourself. We, we sure, sure have. have. And we'll be back soon with another riveting Trinity TV. I'm Cole. I'm Brooks. And I'm Cristiano. Thanks for tuning in. On behalf of all of us here in the Trinity TV studio. Have, have a great, great day, Trinity. Munchkins.